Oh my goodness, I just discovered my bird's nest sansevieria. area. This plant was tucked behind some of the others and somehow it, when I was rearranging plants this got in an area that has been overlooked by the watering schedule. So um, unfortunately it seems to have rotted out in the middle somehow. I'm sure it's lack of water. I blame myself. I see no pests on these leaves at all. But Sansevieria is really tough. I'm going to give you a close-up of the leaf. There are no pests on there at all. And although you can see it looks very dehydrated, and I feel just terrible about that, it's my fault completely. I think the best course of action is to try to propagate these in water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the bottom area and just place it in a glass of water. I have it right here. And hopefully it will rehydrate. Now obviously when you're trying to propagate a Sansevieria, or any plant for that matter, you want to take healthy cuttings. But uh, this is an effort to save the plant and I maybe end up with more plants than I had and um, I will take much better care of them. It's, it's sad when you end up with a plant that ends up in a spot that gets overlooked but every now and then it happens especially if you have a lot of plants. So I'm going to do what I can to save this beautiful bird's nest Sansevieria and I'm going to get those all trimmed up and I'll show you the result. I've taken six of the best leaves. Uh, some of these feel so dehydrated and limp that I'm just gonna stick with the ones that I think have a chance of propagating. And I'm just gonna tuck them in, into this water. Just stick the ends in there. I've chosen a wine glass just because it helps hold up the leaves a little better. There we go. And I'm just making sure that all of the ends end up in the water. And I really hope I can save this plant. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it except for the fact that it was neglected. But here's how it looks. Just the bottom fourth is in there. That might even be a little bit too much water, but I'm hoping that some of this water gets soaked up. Gosh, the lighting isn't so good. It's a very dark, there we go. It's a very dark leaved Sansevieria. But guys, hopefully those will heal up and then the ends will send out some roots. But like I said, I did trim off all of these bits at the bottom where it had started to die back from the center. They kind of go out in a rosette fashion, these bird's nest varieties. Well, actually all of them, but you can really see it in the bird's nest varieties. So sad as that is, that will be heading to the compost pile and I hope that all ends well with these propagations and um, I'm going to film it again in another couple days for you and we'll both be able to see if um, those leaves take up some water. I'm giving you another shot of how dehydrated it is. When you can really see a texture like that, they should be smooth. If they were hydrated, that it would be a smooth leaf. So we'll compare it in a few days and see if that leaf takes up some water. And I'm going to be placing that under the fluorescent lights along the edge of my sink. And this is a place where plants never die. I see it many times a day as I'm working on the dishes. But uh, right there is a great place where I can supervise the propagation. Okay, so it's been a few days and I've checked on my leaves. As you can see, I filled the glass with water. I thought that would be a better way to really hydrate those, an emergency hydration procedure. So um, let me show you what's going on here. This one right away feels a lot heavier and uh, is looking thicker. And you can still see some ridges on it, but um, it is overall heavier and more shiny. That top part even looks shiny that wasn't in the water. So um, they definitely got a good dose of hydration. And now I'm just going to leave them in water for a few weeks 
Uh, it, just at the bottom, I'm going to empty out some of the water and just let the water hit the bottom so they root out and hopefully they'll send up little baby plants just like these. These are ones that I did a while ago. It does take a long time to get Sansevierias to root in my experience, but um, it can be done. And this little guy is, uh, these little guys are babies of this one. And um, they reverted back to obviously some ancestor plants because they are not variegated. That's normally what happens when you try to take root cuttings from a variegated plant. This is the mother plant. And this one's in a fantastic spot that I see often, so it never gets neglected. Um, so always make sure you have your plants where you can see them on a regular basis, so this won't happen. But I'm hoping that I get some propagations out of this. And that is a good way to perpetuate your plant if something should happen. So I will do an update in a month or two and I'll let you know when they sprout plants or roots. Um, but it does take a while in my experience. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.